everyone, my name is Betsy, and my Thanksgiving cactus is in bloom! I really wanted to fit it in, I'm sorry, I needed to show you. Today I'm doing a video about ficus elastica care. My subscriber, Amira Hadar, asked for me to do a video about rubber tree plants, so I'm doing a video about rubber tree plants. I have ficus uh, robusta. It's a rubber tree plant, but it has thicker, fuller leaves. And then I have a little variegated rubber tree plant which is such a slow grower, but it's really cute and charming. So how about my ficus robusta as a fun story? I was home alone with the cats. My husband was gone running errands, and I heard a knock at the door, which is already weird because if you hear a knock at the door, that means that somebody has gotten into the building without permission because you have to ring to get into the building. They've gotten into the building without permission, and then they're just knocking on people's doors. So I go to the door, and I look out the peephole, and there's nobody there. Hey, look at other people trying to figure out like what, wh who, uh, the light is on, there's nobody out there. I'm looking and looking for like a full minute. And then through the peephole, I see an arm come over, knock on the door and then disappear. And I was like, what? Somebody is knocking on the door and then hiding to trick me into opening the door. That is scary. And I'm like, Bleh. I just keep looking through the peephole. This goes on for like three minutes. The person knocks on the door multiple times. I'm freaked out and like on the verge of calling the police. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm pretty sure that I'm this close to getting murdered. And then the person leans over one more time and I catch a glimpse of his face and it's my husband. So I throw open the door and I'm like, what are you doing? He had put the little plant on the doormat and he was hoping that I would just walk up to the door and throw it open like I had never seen a true criminal documentary series. And then I would find the cute little plant sitting on the doormat like the plant had knocked on the door. But instead I was like terrified for my life, five seconds away from calling the police and wondering who was trying to trick me into opening my door so that they could savagely murder me. Anyway, back to Ficus Elastica Care. Super easy plant to take care of. You won't even you don't even have to give it any thought. It does well in bright, indirect light. It can take some full sun, but you don't want to leave it roasting in, you know, a west-facing window during the hottest hours of the afternoon. If the light levels are too low, the leaves will get kind of thin and, like, far apart, so it starts looking a bit wiry. So it does need a lot of bright, indirect light. You can put them in a north, south, east, or west-facing window, but they might not get enough light in a north-facing window, unless they're, like, right up against the glass. In which case, when it gets cold outside, you're going to want to move it away from the glass a little bit so that the leaves don't freeze. They like high humidity, but they will do fine in regular household humidity. It shouldn't harm them any. They're not as sensitive as, like, calatheas or prayer plants. So they should do fine. Their ideal temperature range is 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. Household range, it's where you want your home to be. They do really well in the summer, and as long as the house is nice and warm in the winter, they're gonna do just fine. When it comes to watering this plant, don't overdo it. Stick your finger in the soil, make sure that at least the first top inch of soil, or like three centimeters of soil is dry, and then give it a go. If the leaves begin to yellow and drop, then that is a sign of overwatering. They need a quick draining soil, so a safe bet would be one part peat moss, one part perlite, something that's really well aerated. You could use a cacti and succulent blend, you could use an African violet blend, for example. Something that's just not too compact, it won't become like a hard, tough clay. I have heard that they do okay when they're a little bit root bound, so you don't need to be in a great hurry to repot them every year. You just need to repot them if you start seeing the roots come through the holes in the bottom, for example, or if you take it out of the pot a little bit and you see like a rat's nest of roots, it's time to repot. They don't require a lot of fertilizer. If, I would say use half diluted houseplant fertilizer every four weeks. Otherwise, they could experience leaf burn pretty quickly. They're kind of sensitive to fertilizer, and you don't have to fertilize them very often at all. And another note about these is that the sap that they create, like if you were to cut the stem, it would create like a milky substance. That is a real irritant, and it's toxic if it's ingested by humans or plants. So if you have a plant chewer, like a cat or a dog that eats plants, this is not the plant for you because it could really cause your pet to get sick if they ingest it. And if you get it on your hands, you'll wanna wash them right away with soap and water because it'll cause a rash. It's not, very, it's not very pleasant. And one more thing that's really cool that has absolutely nothing to do with keeping these as plants in your household, in the wild, 
they're actually dependent on one very specific insect called a fig wasp in order to pollinate and create fruit and survive as a species. The fig wasp and the ficus elastica tree have evolved together for, for millions of years. They depend on one another just to exist. If the fig tree didn't exist, the fig wasp wouldn't exist and vice versa. It's really cool. And if you are interested in things like that, then um, you should click the link up there because it's a really cool thing to learn about. But I won't dive too deeply into it since I'm just a houseplant lady and I am not an entomologist. So that's my quick care guide for ficus elastica. Super easy plant to take care of. Bright and direct light, some full sun will do it some good. Don't overwater it. Make sure the first third of the soil is dried out before you give it another water. It likes high humidity, but regular household humidity should do it just fine. Don't over fertilize, keep it on the light side. And lastly, the sap is an irritant, so do be careful, don't get it on your skin. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll definitely get back to you. I just want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you want to see other plant videos, feel free to check out my channel or subscribe to my channel. And thank you. Have a good day. I'll see you soon.